All right, welcome to another Crossroads podcast with Drem, my homie. What up? What up, bro? You're the 40th podcast. 40th, that's a good number. I've heard, I've heard it takes 50 episodes to like get good at the podcast to know what you're doing. So like you're right there, you're right on the edge. So that's a, that's a good number. Yeah, dude, you know, uh, one day, I like being able to just Zoom chat. That's super dope. Yeah. yeah, no, it's nice. Not have to be, do like a physical studio location or whatever. Yeah, I do want to do that one day. I have plans for that. But um, I mean, I met you here in Helena. You're over in Missoula. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But uh, you lived in Missoula before too, huh? Yeah, yeah. Born and raised. Um, uh, oh, I guess not, that's right. I guess not born. I was born in Washington, uh, but I've lived in Missoula since I was like three years old. Um, so nice. it's back Um spent some time in florida obviously and then uh salt lake city for a while um but yeah back home oh for that's now. right yeah you were yeah. off in florida for like what a year or two how, about how a year about a year um until the covid stuff got really messy down there that's why i left oh the you were they, there when it hit yeah yeah i feel like the way they handled it too just wasn't the greatest so florida it, too i mean yeah it's coming into florida it's Florida. yeah it was it's just right on the coast literally everything was shut down in florida like no joke like shut down shut down you could not do it was weird it was really weird there's a lot uh, of people there yeah a lot of people and like got like a lot of tourism and like and a then lot of what got stuck down there in their hotels and stuff and like it, and then you fun. ended up in salt lake yep yep i knew some people uh in salt lake i have some people over there utah so, yeah, honestly, the scene in Salt Lake is cool, man. Um, Wait, who are you get... connected with out there? Uh, so my friend Yvonne lives out there. Um, but then once I was out there, I ended up meeting this group of people that went by like Legacy Records. Um, a guy named Speak Wisely, a uh, guy named Boston, and uh, 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 Shun. Um, and then just nice. like a bunch of they would. It was like a. I, I don't know, man. It was a record label, but it was like a a conglomerate, maybe, I guess. I don't know. Right. Uh, so, like, we, we would all throw in, like, 20, 30 bucks and go to, like, one of the best studios in town and just – we made enough music to, like, put a tape together. I don't know really what happened, but uh, um, it was really fun while I was down there working at Did that Did you guys studio. release any of it on the internet or anything, or was it just kind of – Most of it's on SoundCloud, yeah. Most of it's on SoundCloud. Um, right. Yeah, I can uh, post some links to that stuff. It's really good. Um, but we were recording with this guy named uh, Wes Thompson, who uh, engineers for Post Malone a lot of the time was down there at this studio called Counterpoint. Uh, and that studio. Post was- Malone lives in Utah now, right? Yeah, yeah. He's got a house in. Uh- Is he? No, he's from Texas. I think. Yeah, that's what so- I'm thinking. Of, is Texas? Oh, really? yeah man. yeah i've never been down to texas i've been through utah i've never got a chance to check it out too much um for what it is man it was fun salt lake city's cool there's a lot to do uh you can go to a jazz game which is cool um wait did you go to one yeah yeah that was yeah that was a really cool experience i I went to to a wizards game or a mad wizards a magic game while i was down in florida too which was really oh cool. um, orlando magics dude yeah, uh, shaquille game. o'neal played for them yeah well yeah young buck young buck shaquille dude that's rad uh, yeah i, would, I gotta get that jersey a Shaq jersey yeah that'd be yeah, a good dude, that would be sick yeah i got a few i have a few i have a john stockton jersey and, uh, john stockton for sure man dominique wilkins jersey uh the human highlight reel um Man, dude. A Kevin Durant jersey, but like a Thunder Kevin Durant jersey. So back back from when he played for the Thunder. The jersey's cool. That's one of my favorites. Nice. Where so uh, how long have you been in Montana now? I got back in April. So coming up on a year. Oh, yeah. So you're fresh back into it. Yeah. Yeah. It's a uh, well, welcome it, back to Montana. Thank you. It feels better being back. Glad than you made other- it through the mess of uh covid and did yeah. you fly into no Long- man I'm, you drove I, 
I drove a lot. In the past three years, I have just put so many miles on my car. It's been a lot of fun. Oh, it's it's an experience like not a lot of people get to do, and let alone a lot of people get to do alone. So it was like, especially driving from Florida. I've been to Florida and back twice now by myself in my car. Uh, it's like a four-day drive. And, hmm. uh, yeah, what a cool experience. It's fun, I do want to go to Florida. Dude, uh, you one of my homies is from there. Camera dude, James Stilts. Did you ever meet him? Yeah, I've met James. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he's from Florida. So one yeah. day I want to go check it out. But you, uh, you and, uh, James LaFountain, you guys went to LA, right? Yeah. We worked with James out there. That's, you know, was yeah. my connection down in LA who I met out here in Montana. But, you know, when you got connections, it makes it a lot easier to go places. Yeah, no, that'd be fun, man. I, well, you and James just actually finished an album, right? We did. Yeah, that was a uh, fun, man. We uh, let me give you the story yeah, behind that. We uh, so I I went up to Kalispell uh, and stayed a weekend at his house, and um, I told him I was like, we need to. I was like, we need to work. I come up here a bunch and like we get stuff done, but like I feel like me and you, we just like we're, we're homies, so we get distracted. Well, weren't we, you guys? You would actually get you would knock some songs out before in the past oh no we have yeah we've gotten a lot done There's never uh, a full-on like yo we're putting we, it we together as one project we yeah and we had been talking about it for so long so we just yeah i was like we need to buckle down um and i guess <laughs> i guess our definition of buckling down was uh just eating acid and seeing what <laughs> happened nice <laughs> so we, uh, we utilized uh we utilized splice which is a really cool subscription service. Yeah, dude. I use Splice. Uh, yeah, Splice is awesome. Um, so I sat in his studio in that little couch behind him, and he would uh, scroll through Splice and just, like, click on sounds until I heard something that I was like, yeah, that. I, I like that. And right. He would, pull, he would pull it into a, the program and just kind of start building a rough beat around it. Um, and I would write while he was doing that. And then – I would take what I had written and like put it on this like rough outline and then he would finish building the beat around what I wrote. And it was just, Oh man, it was cool. It ended up being five tracks. We knocked out each one in literally like 45 minutes an hour. It was uh, nice. Just flowing. And it turned out really. Yeah. Oh, both... in the flow state, dude, I can't wait to hear it, bro. Oh, so what both... you're in the process of releasing it. What, what did you uh, decide to call it and everything? My bad. Uh, right. <laughs> my bad. Yeah, it's called My Bad. Um, That's a, a good lot name. Of it is, uh, just, I, I, I was in a vulnerable state, obviously. So a lot of it is really just open and kind of talking about some shit I've been going through and mental health stuff. And uh, the, a couple of the songs are tough to listen to, for sure, for myself, just because it's when you're in a different, you know what I mean? It's, it's tough when to listen to. When you're pouring your soul out and then you're like, reflect yeah. on it. Yeah, it's tough. And you're um, sharing it as art with other people. Which, yeah, you know? also, and uh, I, I honestly hope this project gives a voice to a lot of the other people in our community who are afraid to make music like that. You know what I mean? Um, More emotional? A, expressing yeah, emotions? <laughs> instead of just turn up music? Or what? Not that, but just talking about what's in your head instead of just writing mumbo jumbo honestly be oh be open yeah and true that i was thinking that i was like you know i was like man that's why honestly that's why i've always had a respect for what you do because you're not a, a, a fako about it <laughs> you know what i mean and that that's yeah, hard to, it is know, funny so to think of what you know when you say that it makes me think of like six nine where i was thinking the other day where i was like man a lot of his music just has like weird names like gumbo yeah. or and i'm like man just need to start writing like gibberish music <laughs> sometimes it happens and i, I mean um, I but to intertwine that if you could intertwine that gibberish with like meaningful content or like you say like mm -hmm. speaking your actual thoughts and exactly yeah, there's there's a there's a happy 50 50. And I, I'm guilty of the gibberish. It's fun. Sometimes it's it's really fun. 
So, oh yeah, and or just to throw in that catchy, like eh, it's just to like it's just a fun yeah. catchy thing. Don't get me wrong, it's fun, but uh, yeah, just be afraid to like be your true self when you make your music. People so wait, that. yo, and it also it makes me wonder through the changes you've gone through. Yeah, because I met you when you were living in Helena. Yeah, that was 2018 too. That's four years ago. Yeah, almost, which is crazy. Yeah, true that, and um. Drem the Guru, and I remember asking you back then about like, yo, where did your name like Drem the Guru? What's that all about? Uh -huh. And you said you had like a crew or something like the Drem crew. Yeah, we uh, <laughs> it's these kids I used to play basketball with. We play, we played basketball and we called ourselves Ten Drem. For it was it was Dream Team without the A's and then like reversed. Nice. I st I still don't know why we did it or yeah it, we just thought we were funny probably <laughs> but um <laughs> yeah dream comes from that it's actually dream without the a it's a really roundabout way to get a name but i think it's cool <laughs> yeah it is cool um and then lou charismo came yeah. like a little while yeah. later like as another like character name or alias or something <laughs> I try to explain it to people and it always comes off sounding weird or makes me sound like psychotic, but, uh, they're, definitely, <laughs> <laughs> they're all different people, man. Uh, Lou Charisma was born out of anxiety, like 100%. Um, and it, 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 yeah, I can it, understand that. I can get with, the. Uh, um, well, so it's almost like a different type of music that Lou Charisma would create or something that that and just a different vibe it's a different mind state um and then i also have ronnie knox who very oh yeah that's right would accept like yeah you you and jamrock were around when that came about and like uh that's that's <laughs> yeah that, that's that gibberish that's that i'm feeling ignorant and uh that's actually like it's my name backwards basically um and uh ronnie is oh it's yeah a, that's right a pseudonym it's a weird yeah but uh so that's like my that's like my ignorant when i'm not feeling like i don't give a fuck get low fucking that's the kind of music i write so like yeah it's yeah. a weird it's a weird thing inside my head but it works i dig it man i think it uh i can relate to it the whole like creating these characters or different identities for you know certain almost like personalities or like Mm -hmm. it, you know for me the only way i could make sense of it was like i was like look if i didn't create this art form i don't know what i would do with these feelings you know it's so, it's, it's that, that healthy way to process that shit without destroying yourself basically that's what it is for me yeah and honestly there's like a lot of people that have that stuff going on it's not you know, I would see like Riff Raff, who would always be like, oh, it's a tangerine tiger or the Peach Panther. It's like, yeah, there's like coming up with all these other names. It's fun. And I think it keeps the audience entertained. <laughs> I adopted it from MF Doom. Honestly, that's where I first like Victor Von Doom, MF Doom, like MF Doom. Dang dope, yeah, for sure. Like fucking there's just he has so many different characters in so many ways. He like puts himself out there and expresses his shit and like, yeah, that's where I first was like, huh, that's a cool way to, that's a cool way to vent. You know what I mean? So what is this album? Uh, is it Drem? Yep. Yeah. It's basically like, I guess a homecoming for Drem. Uh, all my favorite music I've ever made was Drem like always. So uh, and I'm kind of coming, being home, being home has been good. Like I said, I feel like I'm kind of coming back into myself finally. So back in yeah, Missoula? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, true uh, that. So it's, yeah, it's a homecoming album for sure. Dope, dude. You will. So when's it supposed to be releasing? So it was supposed to come out January 5th, which is that today? Uh, No, in a couple of days. Okay, yeah. So it was supposed to come out January 5th. Uh, Sadly, it, I had to push it back just because some issues with like the cover art. Um, mm. 
computer stuff. Um, so oh, I like that cover art though. <laughs> yeah, so funny. <laughs> Shout out uh, that cover. That's actually AJ Forte. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, I'm supposed to talk to AJ sometime on here. Yeah, that's actually him. He was trying to grind a rail on his skateboard and ate oh nice. Shit. Oh yeah, yeah he's so a that, skater. Yeah, yeah, dude. So yeah, dude. It. Oh. Um, uh, so, I love that shit. So that's just like a pocket shot or something of like, yeah, it's like a, it's like a zoomed in picture of it. And I like blurred it out and it, it's just, yeah, it's such a funny shot. I just had to, he, he was showing me a video or something and I made him like, I can't remember how it happened, but I saw it and I was like, I, I need that. I was like, that's I need dope to- art. It reminds me of like a kid Cudi album or cover or something. It, it just, it, 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 it's, I hate to sound like so artsy fartsy about it, but it like, Oh, both my cats are behind me. Hello. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, my cats have been going at it recently. Uh, it's it's a representation of me just like all these slips and falls I've had and continue to have and like will continue to have. But like it, it's, yeah. I'm, I'm uh, excited. But, uh, that's January, what life's about though, right, man? All those trips and falls, like get knocked down, but I get up again. You know? <laughs> like, yeah. Like whatever. Exactly. As long as you keep getting back up, you're not really – you know, I don't know. Life's just one more, uh, that's just life. You know, you get better every time you get up and after it again. I feel like if you get out of bed every day and just, even if it's the bare minimum, if you're getting up and doing the bare minimum and you're surviving, you're doing a fucking great job. Like for sure. So slips and falls are definitely nothing. They're going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. So what are your goals with, uh, your music? Cause you've been doing it for, since I met you and since before I met you and I mean, you plan to do it forever or what? Um, I mean, I feel like all of us do. Yeah. <laughs> I do. Uh, You're just today, an artist. So <laughs> yeah. I mean, obviously I'm always going to create and I'm always gonna, I'm always going to create, I will always create, but um, honestly, as time goes by in today's world, it just, if it doesn't, start to become more lucrative than it has been which part of that is on my side always is i, I need to push harder and i know that but uh yeah I, i'm, I'm gonna probably my my 10-year goal is to be is to be touring and doing like 10 000, nice. 20 shows that is my 10-year goal hell yeah uh, bro if i don't attain that like i said i'll always create but there's i have other channels i have fallbacks so i'm not worried well, I will. So with the new brand, I've been rebranding everything with this new crossroads thing. And so that's part of all the plans with that is to eventually, I want to get like a community center studio place established in yeah. town. Um, that would you be know, sick. Be really yeah. Cool. And then, um, you know, find the right artist. Eventually we could have a venue there too. Cause it was having a venue has always been the struggle um a little skate park in there would be dope but then the touring i want to be like yo we're gonna develop obviously our own touring agency where we book acts through here but then actually develop it and i mean i'd love to tap into live nation and you know those groups out of la one day but i'm like shit I mean, might as well establish it out here too the one good thing about coming from montana and people talk about it and like is the community is pretty outrageous it's pretty damn supportive uh and with that we have missoula is pretty rad too it is it can be it can be definitely i think there can always be more but i i think with that community comes since we're in montana it's such a secluded place we're able to like spread out so far because of the internet Mm -hmm. and like we have all these different connections around the country and like it's i feel like it would be easier than i make it seem in my head for sure well yeah and i plan to be doing this stuff with james lafount Mm -hmm. you know young signal as well because i'm like man i've been doing it with him since i was like 15 you know and i feel so appreciative of like you introducing us and like that whole relationship for me because that's a dude i want to like that's yeah that's one of those people that you just i want to like have by my side as we go up because he deserves it well yeah uh because you you focus on just rapping and writing 
Are yeah. you, have you ever gotten a music production? I want to. I haven't. Um, I'd, I'd like to. I think I'd be good well, at it. The more it. you're around it, like you yeah, say you're around. in the studio with James, learn how to produce. If you're sitting there, learn how more, you know? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I'd, I'd, I'd like to become more hands-on with the process for sure. I think that's a good thing to be. I, yeah, I have a lot to learn still, obviously. Like you said, I've been doing this for a while which is weird. <laughs> well, yeah. And that's another reason I'm like, man, I got to get a center where people can get together to work. Cause you know, it's, I've just done a lot of home studio work with people and there's some pretty dope studios. Um, I mean, what do you do nowadays? Um, Go to studios or just home studio yeah, stuff. Now, when I'm in Missoula, I'm going either to new wave with shadow and Coulter and Alain oh yeah Alain. i'm supposed to talk to those guys sometime soon too they're great yeah they're awesome you definitely i've seen should. a video of you in there uh they got like a live yeah oh man uh, I want to do the, super fun it's like this little set that they have set up and yeah you just go in and do your live performance and yeah a lot of fun um they're doing a great thing for sure um if i'm not there i'm going to the vault um i want to check them out too i spoke with them on here yeah mike's but... a good guy I just Definitely. want to get in that booth, man. I'm like, yeah, the vault is at that bank vault booth. Yeah. yeah. And Mike's rad. If he, cause he produces too. I'm like, dude, I would definitely. Yeah. Yeah. He makes rock some good to beat. one of his beats, you know, I'm like, yeah, I just want to collabo, you know? Yeah. He does a good job. Um, and then, yeah, I, I try to get up to Kalispell as much as I can uh, to work with James. That's like, that's my favorite person on earth to make music with. So like, uh, it's, it's tough sometimes just with my car in Montana being snowy and shitty. Um, True that. but yeah, that's, I like to get up there as much as I can I'm trying to catch him before he dips out whatever he's deciding to do. But. Yeah, dude. I, well, I'm sure he'll go explore and stuff. I mean, that's why I'm trying to get this establishment going. It's going to be more of a nonprofit social enterprise. So I mean, I, I feel that should, get grants there's no, there's no people. place here in this state like it's all these little home private studios which is great we have a ton of places we can record but there there is no place that a bunch of artists can just come together schedule a time yeah there's nothing like that or like a like a cypher spot or something like that there's yeah yeah you know how it is man just gotta do, i'm trying to develop this all into our own kind of no jumper double xl you know create our own industry as much as we can tap into what are your thoughts on the major industry like are you like anti-industry you know some people are like no or are you like no, whatever i'll fuck with it <laughs> i wouldn't say i'm anti-industry but it scares me like that i always say like i i love the music and i want to make a living off of the music i want to be able to live and do what i love to do but true that as a career the fame part is secondary for me because that shit's terrifying yeah, anxiety or just to be that in the spotlight all the fucking time and everything you do is watched with a fucking microscope and like all the posts you make are scrutinized and torn apart and twisted and like, <laughs> literally everything you do is twisted and torn apart and yeah. that just there's there's perks to it which obviously everybody maybe not everybody would but i'm sure most people look at it and say like yeah that looks like a good fucking life but at the same time, that's terrifying. I start I thought about like starting to wear a mask, like like MF Doom and shit, and just like yeah, true that, the, man. Just let the music speak for itself. Don't worry about the person. Just let the music speak for itself. That's if if I could gain that, I'd be happy. Well, I'm looking forward to your new music. You plan to do any other videos? You've had some rad videos in the past. The first one I seen of you, you were like in limbo or something. Yeah, that, that was rainy days. That was directed by Mikey Graff. Dude, that was dope. Is excellent. Mike does a fucking cool. Oh, did job. he come up with the concept then of like yo no, yo? Oh me. Um, I came to him with the idea and was just like, this is just what I saw when I hear this song. Um, but yeah, that was that was a fun. I'd like to do more in depth. I mean, I've done a couple, I did a couple videos um with those cats down in Salt Lake City while I was there um nice they're out online then, i did the cypher the new wave cypher with shadow on them and then the oh, live i think i've seen that one yeah that so was I'm a pretty fun. sure i buzzed through all their cyphers yeah that one was fun that was a lot of fun too 
went out to Polson for that and we shot on Flathead Lake. That was cool. Um, nice. Wait, did I hit you up about the ciphers, the Soulfire Beat Cipher project? I think you did. Yeah. Yes. Well, I'm working on it still, just putting it together. Eventually, you know, tap in with as many people as possible. Definitely. No, I'd like to get on that. I'm uh, taking a break from the recording and stuff until this drops. And then I want to push my bad really hard um, and just get it out there as much as I can. Um, I'm trying to utilize TikTok. I feel like that's a great. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think it's right. Trying to make stupid little videos that like I may think are stupid, but in the long run, if they get views, they get views, right? Yeah, so, and there's a lot of different ways to, because uh, your music, you know, since it'll be available on TikTok. Yep, it'll be everywhere. Know, yeah, um, you know, I've been like, man, I need to write. <laughs> Even sometimes I'm like, I just need to write music, you know, for certain things, because mm-hmm. there's those like trending type of videos that other people, influencers will make that have like huge followers yeah no there's amounts. there's a formula to it for sure so if and they I've, use your song and then it becomes a trending thing then mm-hmm. it's a marketing is half the battle you can create great art but unless it's shared with the people properly yeah it can that's, get lost in the uh, of my young music career uh w- when i first got going and started i was really really good at keeping up with it and uh i'd gotten an instagram account to like 2500 followers or something like that which is good nice uh, and then i deleted it reason i don't know why i did that i still to this day don't know why i did that i've done um, stuff like that too where i'd be like i have like a psychotic episode i'm like oh whoops yeah, no, but literally, it's that manic shit, dude. Yeah. So like, <laughs> yeah. So I, so I'm rebuilding. I'm I'm working on the marketing side. That part is really hard for me. Um, but I'm I'm learning. I read a lot about it. Uh, my dad was a marketing teacher. Um, so I nice. talked to him about. It. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it's it's. Tough. Yeah. I guess. Uh, yeah, it's that's the strangest thing about it nowadays. Marketing. TikTok is a huge marketing platform and it's weird how you use it differently than uh, YouTube or Instagram or Facebook. You are, you're probably connected on all these different platforms then, huh? Yeah. Yeah. The only one I don't really use is Twitter. I've never really understood it. I don't really ever use Twitter. I think I have ones that exist, but. I'm not really like, I'm an old man. (laughs) <laughs> like i'm not technology. you know how it is bro it's like well that was the interesting thing about la have you been to los angeles i have not no you know how celebrityism mm-hmm. you know how it is and that's kind of something that is something i would say we kind of deal with in the realm of being an independent artist yeah or in the underground hip-hop scenes or anything is you know, there's always like that star sort of thing. Oh, definitely. Yeah, no, definitely. But that's because I think that's what everybody is like. That's what they see for themselves, you know, which is great. And like, I, I, oh, yeah, but it, it can get, but it can get toxic. Absolutely. Yeah. Remaining a real human. Yeah, exactly. You know? And just exactly. Like, yo, I'm just a normal person. <laughs> yeah. And that's the yeah. other part that's, it's like i have an ego just like anybody else mm. and like I, music's good and all that but like to yeah to get that to get those followers and to like i don't know it scares me that it's just going to give me such an ego boost where i do start to like switch up and like fucking but oh, i feel right. like that's something yeah I, like you got a million oh all of a sudden one day i woke up and everything was at millions of views and listens it, it, and and my exactly. money, I'm like, dude, I woke up, I got a million bucks or whatever. Yeah, exactly. That's or the even big, yeah. you're like, I got a hundred thousand. Yeah. And yeah, or ten thousand. What do you do? That's the other dude. Money scare. It's all. It's all terrifying, and I feel like not enough people talk about that side of it. For sure, it is. Well, it's that's the scary thing: the fear of failure and that fear of success, sort of. Yeah. Where it's like, yeah, like. 
we want that to attain that success so we can like live off it and be like, yo, it's our living, you know, able to buy a nice house, buy a nice car, no worries. All the bills are paid. But with that, like what, whatever might come with it is, you know, well, even the financial side of it, it's like you say, you wake up, you got a hundred thousand dollars in your bank account. My first thought is what the fuck do I do now? I know. <laughs> what do I do with this? Like, what do I do with a hundred thousand? What? <laughs> Honestly. So that's like, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's a weird environment that I have no knowledge of, but I am eager and like, will continue to push to try to like burst into for yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. And at least, you know, growing, having it, your own growth as independent is one thing versus, you know, if the industry was tapped in and, you know, then there's that incentive of like, they're making the money off of you, mm -hmm. whatever. But, you know, that's the beauty of things nowadays. You're just releasing your project yourself. Uh, yeah, it's through, I'm releasing it through United Masters. Oh, nice. Uh, which is great. I've, I've never used them, but I've heard good things. Yeah. I've been really happy with it so far. Um, I keep all my royalties um, and they uh, get put on all platforms. And then there's a lot of opportunities to like uh, get onto like video games and like they have a bunch of different little things. It's, it's a neat, it's a neat company. They do a good job, I think for sure. Yeah. I'm going to look more into them because uh, I think that is another great Avenue for musicians is that uh, licensing for like video games or yeah. Movies. <laughs> Or whatever. I mean, video games are huge. There's a whole professional league. Like, yeah, that's big time. There's a professional video gaming league? Uh, tons. Like, yeah. There's a, like it's like 2K, a sport? Yeah, like 2K basketball. Dang, uh, yeah. I didn't even realize that. I'm trying oh, to get in the gaming realm, though. Like, we'd be getting our gaming channels, and I'm like, dude, I'm going to get our Twitch figure out. Yeah. Yo, I'm going to make money off this. If you can nowadays, it's like, yeah. <laughs> You could, yeah, there's so much ways to make I call, money. I mean, some people be like, it's selling now. I'm like, look, man, there's some way to make money with everything you love in life. Yeah. You, know? or you don't have to make money with it, but. You can you can monetize just about anything today, for yeah. sure. I um, uh, started getting paid off of uh, like reels and stuff that I put on Instagram. And I heard like, about that. I didn't realize that. And I opened my United Masters one day and I had these statements from Facebook and Instagram. I was like, what in the world? What is this? And yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you can get monetized for literally anything. It's, it's wild. Dude. Oh, I'm stoked that we're living in this era where we can, uh, you know, do it ourselves. Have yeah. Video chats like this. One day we'll have to do it in person when I, at the community center, I plan to have a, like a public podcast studio. So it's like, yo, you could come in and then have the performance area where you could do like the live performance stuff. Yeah, that would be yeah. sweet. But, uh, so yeah, you plan to stick around Montana for a little bit or what's up? I think, I think so. I think that's my plan for right now. I'm giving it a couple of years just to settle in, figure some stuff out, uh, get back on a solid ground kind of type of thing. Um, and then, yeah, I think I am planning on Texas for my next move. Uh, nice. Billy, Bank, Billy Banks is down in Texas. Oh, yeah, uh, that's right. Yeah, so. I need to hit enough. him up. Oh, yeah, that's a great one. Always a fun person to talk to. He makes amazing music, too. He's crazy with it. Yeah, dude, he's rad. I met him just a few times here, but I'm glad I met him before we left. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. Yeah, it's a good person to have in your corner for sure. Yeah, Absolutely. man. The connections. It's always good to have connections. Well, I'll keep you in mind for all this future projects I got going on. You know, right now I'm doing the cipher stuff, and then uh, I am going to be working on putting together a music festival, Crossroads Music Festival. Killer. So, yeah. um, I don't know. I was thinking outdoors here in Helena, though. Yeah. So I'm going to see what I can do, but I'll keep you in mind and let you know what's going on with that because I'll be looking for different artists. Awesome. And, uh, yeah try to put on for the hip-hop culture as well because it ain't really happening around here much anymore <laughs> yeah no yeah i heard there's some new spots in missoula though the uh legacy lounge have you heard of that spot uh i've heard of it i'm not too sure where it is though 
I, don't I, heard, know. I heard it's like an all ages venue or something, which mm. I might try That's to in. But I'm going to try to do some skate park tours too. I'm thinking, mm. do you yeah. think this would work though? Like, if I was to go from, you know, even around Montana, different skate parks, putting on shows and be like, yo, local rappers that want to perform. Yeah, that would absolutely work. Especially, dude, if you did that at Mobash in Missoula, like right off the side of the river, fucking dude. That would and then be just kind of have like a competition or contest going on with the skaters or something like a skate jam. Yeah, that would be super sweet. I would love to be a part of that. And I know a bunch of Missoula that would like, yeah, definitely. I'm trying to get this skate brand stuff going on, bro. Cause I'll dude, I'll, well, I'll keep you posted on my projects so I can try to get you involved. Hopefully in the future, we can connect in the real world and do some yeah. shows again. I haven't been doing shows for a while. How about you? Um, I did some this summer. Um, I went down into twin falls, Idaho, and did a festival down there. Um, nice. and then I did, what was the I festival? Did, uh, it was called day one fest. It was the first year they did it. Um, uh, 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 um, oh man, Roly, Roly Water, uh, Daniel Skilly Waves is down there, Abel Delgado. Um, there's some good artists down there. It was a fun, it was a fun couple days. Um, yeah, and then I did Tyf. Um, oh, this did, last summer? Yep, yep. Nice. How was that? Oh, fun as always, man. It was a good time. Hell yeah. yeah. Always good to like see everybody too. That's like, all those people who I started doing this with. So like, yeah, it's good to see everybody. Um, yeah. Reconnecting after the world went kind of crazy, crazy. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I definitely don't think it's going to be getting back to that, but yeah, hopefully not. I guess you never know these days. Yeah. Seriously though. <laughs> well, shit, man, I guess I'm looking forward to your new album dropping as soon as it get, gets out. I'll definitely share it post it do you think you're gonna do any videos at all yeah that's a plan for a couple of the songs yeah uh, nice. i want to do for not a vibe and then uh for breathe that's uh the breathe is the last track on the song i'm really excited for that one nice that's i'm actually working on a cartoon right now for this uh female artist the song is called breathe hey it's a good name <laughs> yeah dude one day i'll have to do a cartoon of us I have an old song I found that has you and James on. I was like, oh shit, this song needs really? to be re-released. Yeah. And I, I was like, dude, I need to do a cartoon to this. Dude, yeah, do it. Do it. That'd be so, great. Yeah, dude. And they'll have to make some characters of your guys. You're like yeah. Ronnie Knox and uh Lou Carismo. <laughs> yeah, that'd be kind of cool. I don't know. I just imagine them all to look different than Drem. Yeah, yeah they should for sure. So wait, are you still a guru or are you no longer a guru? Just Drem? Just Drem. I, I'm just going by Drem now. Yeah. No longer gurus. You're like, no, I will no I, longer try to improve your life. I'm here to just have a good time. No. <laughs> <laughs> Say what? Drem, Drem's just here to party now. <laughs> just here to party. Right on, dude. Dude, I got these new party mixes I'm doing. Mashup yeah. covers. I'll have to hit you with some sometime and be like, I don't know. I'm just trying to do some experimental music and try to get a bunch of people in on it. And yeah, definitely. Well, righteous bro. Um, thanks for taking the time to do this. I'll put your links and stuff in the comment box or whatever the description box. Okay. And, Killer. and yeah, I'll share it here soon. I mean, I'll probably share it tonight or tomorrow or something. Awesome. Sounds great, man. Thank you. Yeah, bro. Well, I look forward to your album and I look forward to crossing paths in the future. Yeah, we'll see you soon, man. Have a great night, dude. Yeah, you too, bro. Peace. All right, take care. Peace.